This is an ultrasound study of the obstetric scan. Uh, our effort for bleeding for vagina being two months uh, as per patient. Uh, amenorrhea with the pregnancy test is positive. Now what we have to see first, I have been sent to rule out any possibility of cervical incompetence. So the cervix we are seeing is close. Is this is the cervix, this area. This is the cervical region. And uh, this is the cervical canal. This is the internal loss. This is the interior wall of the uterus, the outer wall, the fundus, posterior wall. And this uh, black area within the endometrial canal is the gestational sac. This is the urinary bladder. So at least uh, we do not see an incompetent os because in that case you will see in incompetent os that the amniotic fluid will be entering. In there, there, this, there will be a curve shape or a V-shaped area with making within the entering the endometrial sorry the cervical canal like this in cervical incompetence you will see this area full of fluid and this area, that will be the open os so here we don't see that so bleeding per vagina with pregnancy of uh, early pregnancy no evidence of uh, Cervical incompetence. Now we are, I have magnified the view and we are seeing the cervix, mainly concentrating on the cervix and the internal of area. Now you see that this is this cervical outline, the anterior lip of the cervix, this area, the posterior lip of the cervix, the cervical canal, and here you see the plug, the cervical plug in the trees. This is the urinary blood from the urinal section. Cervix being seen is also uh, in longitudinal section. This is cervical canal. This is the cervix, all of this. And this is the plug or closed internal loss. We do not see any fluid entering into the uh, cervix. So there is uh, the cervical incompetence is ruled out. Now, uh, another point to note is that uh, uh, in early pregnancies, we should not scan the patient with filled urinary bladder or overfilled urinary bladder as it will give pressure to the gestational sac and uh, any mistake can be made. So, in this case, however, we do see up to the pole. First of all, I will describe the, let me describe the, so, uh, the, so, uh, the gestational sac. Now this is the gestational sac, it's very, and it is bounded by a rim of equi equigenic rim, which is not broken, which, this is a double distribual reaction or uh, you say the trophoblastic reaction. Now this area, white area, longitudinal that you are seeing is the fetal pole. Then the fetal pole measures 8.9 millimeters. This is the uterus All of this is the uterus in transfer section. Magnified view, though, and this is the fetal pole. Okay, sorry. Now, <coughs> CRL says that it is a seven weeks uh, gestation. Now, yes, CRL is nine point nine. It corresponds to the gestational age of seven weeks. Let's see uh, if there is any cardiac trigger uh, in this fetal pole as uh, 
the cardiac flicker appears uh, to the seventh week, seventh circuit gestation, seven week gestational age. I have magnified because uh, without magnification it is not possible to get the desired area of answer the question. In this now I wish to see if there is any evidence of uh, cardiac activity because at seventh week the cardiac activity is uh, seen I am not seeing any cardiac activity So what I am going to do is I am going to ask the patient to make sure it and re-scan to get a better view of the particular code. Okay. This is where we left before the patient went for maturation. See that the fetal code is measurable and uh, this is important. Secondly, the crown run length is 9.9 .9, which corresponds to the gestational age of 7 weeks whereas cardiac activity is expected at 7 weeks 5 days. So she has five days to go uh, for us to see the cardiac activity. So there, she should be rescanned after a week or ten days to confirm. Uh, so anyway, let's see if we make it the cardiac picture is possible. Uh, now this is now this is a scan. The patient has maturated. The bladder is almost empty. This is the urinary bladder, this is the gestational sac, this is the uterus. I am going to magnify. To get a clear view of the gestational sac. The fetal pool. Now this is the fetal pole and we do not see any uh, cardiac flicker. The reason being, they, she ha is yet to go for five days, she is five days short of uh, fetal cardiac activity, cardiac flicker to be seen. So I will risk and this patient after 10 days. Confirm the possible cardiac activity. Here you can see the fetal pole. So, and this is all because of this seven weeks, five days extra were required. That is, that is not there. This is the head, the body. It should be secreted. And you see there is no cardiac activity. Anyway, this is a normal ultrasound study of seven weeks with no cardiac activity at present, waiting has to wait, we have to wait for uh, a week and then reach. Thank you very much.